In this video, we're going to look at how to draw conversion graphs. So there's typically two different types of questions they could give you whenever they ask you to draw a conversion graph. They could either give you a table and ask you to plot the points and then draw the conversion graph. Alternatively, they could just give you a conversion rate and get you to plot it yourself from the conversion rate. So let's have a look at each of those. So firstly, uh, this question, there's a table and at the table at the top says uh, freezing point of water in newtons and Fahrenheit. So not... Um, Newtons is equal to 32 Fahrenheit and 33 Newtons is 212 Fahrenheit. So we just need to plot these on the graph. So let's do that. So, so uh, no Newtons or zero Newtons is 32 Fahrenheit. So zero Newtons along the x axis is 32. So that's going to be, let's see what each one of these is going to be. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and it's gone up 20. So that means it's going to be four. 8, 12, 16, 20. So it means that each one of the little lines is 4. So we're looking for 0 and 32. So 0 newtons, 32 Fahrenheit. So 20, 24, 28, 32. So 32 is going to be here. Next, 33, uh, 33 newtons. So 33 newtons. Let's have a look and see what each one of them is worth on the x axis. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10. Um, 10 across is equal to 5. That means that each one's going to be 0 0.5. Let's just take it 0 0.51, 1.52, 2.5. That's halfway good. 3, 3.54, 4.55. That's great. So 32, uh, 33 newtons. So 33 newtons would be here. Uh, 32.5, 33 is equal to 212. So 212 would be 204, 208, 212. So let's just plot that point now. Now that the two points being plotted, what you want to do is then get your ruler and draw a nice straight line through those points. Whenever you draw your line, what you should do is just carry it on, like so. Okay, so we're there we've drawn our conversion graph. So you've got Newtons along the x-axis and you've got um, or along the horizontal axis, Fahrenheit along the vertical axis, and there's your conversion graph. So if they ask you to say, for instance, change 10 Newtons into Fahrenheit, you'd get your ruler and you'd draw up from 10 like so, up to the line, and then across. And look at the video on conversion graphs, reading conversion graphs to see how to do that. Now let's look at the other type of conversion graph they could ask you to draw whenever they tell you just the conversion fact. So this way we're going to draw a conversion graph to convert from pints to liters. The question's told us that 7 pints is approximately 4 liters. So first of all, let's plot that. 7 pints, 4 liters. So 7 pints, 4 liters. would be there. Okay, next, we need to get at least another one more point. I tend to want to try and get three points, but at a minimum, you need one more pint. Or oh, one more point. <laughs> so, um, no pints, no pints will be equal to uh, no liters. Obviously, if you've got no pints, it's no liters. So this graph will go through the origin, unlike the last one. So here we've got that point as well. And if you were to double it, you would get the 14 pints, so double this, you get 14 pints is approximately equal to 8 litres. And if you notice, the horizontal axis goes across the 14, which is nice. So 14 is 8 litres. And then what you want to do is just get your ruler and draw a nice straight line through those. Like so. Okay, so there you go, there's your conversion graph. 